I'm going to review some new tourniquets today. Um, I, I got something in, in my email feed uh, the other day about these Tacticon Armament tourniquets. And they were an introductory price, and uh, they had just gotten on to, to Amazon, as I recall. And the price was really good. So I jumped on and ordered four. And they came in really, really quick. And along with them was this letter. And uh, I'll, just, I'll just read it real quickly. It just says, uh, to show my appreciation, uh, I want to upgrade your shipping to uh, two or three day at no additional charge. I wanted to handwrite this letter to thank you for being one of my first customers. I have only sold a few hundred of these. I'm a combat vet, small business owner, and my future is determined by the quality of my customer service. Do you think you could do me a small favor and leave an honest product review for me when you receive the product? It, may, it would mean the world to my family and I. I've included instructions on how to do a product review uh, on Amazon through your smartphone. Uh, thanks again for your support. Best regards, Jacob Dines, or Dennis, I'm not sure how you say it, the owner. And um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave a review on Amazon, but I'm also making this here video. So what I thought I'd do is pull these guys out and look them over and actually compare them to a cat tourniquet and just, you know, see what we think of them. All right, so each one of these Tacticon uh, tourniquets come in a little heavy-duty plastic bag that has a Velcro closure and inside in addition to the tourniquet are some full color instructions on how to use a tourniquet printed on pretty uh, heavy paper and a lifetime warranty card um, lifetime warranty off on uh, on these tourniquets possibly lifetime warranty on everything on their on their website they sell a lot more than tourniquets um, if you go to their website, a lot of gun stuff. But uh, evidently, they're just getting into the tourniquets. So, and really, you know, if 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 Mr. Dines uh, ends up watching this video, this is really nice, but you're spending some money. I mean, this is really quality printing, thick paper, quality little heavy-duty bag. Um, that's nice. I appreciate that. I don't know. If you were if you were listening to my review, I don't know that I would spend the money on this because, you know, maybe make this an option because I could see leaving them in here in this bag if you're going to keep them in a uh, a larger case. But if you're going to put them in a small IFAC or something, this bag may be a, a little bit of a waste of money. But it's, it's very, very thick and high quality. Velcro's down. Um, the instructions look very good. Um so that's that's better than I've seen in, in some some tourniquets I've bought. Now let's look at the tourniquet itself. All right, so here we have the Tacticon tournament up top, and down below uh, an actual cat tourniquet. Um, and what we're going to do is just compare them, and we'll just go from one end to the other, one side to the other. I don't see a a noticeable difference in the thickness. You know, maybe the cat's a little thicker. I don't know if it's a layer thicker or if it's just the some of the material might be a little thicker. But um, uh, I don't. I don't. It's not. It's not much if it is. Uh, they're about the same length. If the cat would straighten out and fly right, they're the same length. Uh, they both got a red tip. Neither one of them has the little hole, which. I think it's recon medical that had the little hole. I kind of like that. Uh, moving up here. Now, if you look at the videos that um, North American Rescues put out showing how to tell the difference between a cat and a fake cat or a, a not a cat tourniquet, one of the things they talk about is the, um, the, the heat welding or whatever you want to call it or fusing of um, this Velcro piece. I mean, I don't know, they look kind of the same to me. They also talk about the timestamp actually being printed versus being a sticker. I do think that's some sort of heat sticker there. I'm not sure that that 
affects how I feel about a tourniquet. I mean, I know what's supposed to go there. I mean, it's nice to have that prompt, the time prompt, but but I'm not sure that affects the actual usability of the tourniquet. And of course, the cat has the actual cat uh, nomenclature on there. Um, let's see, this plastic. Yeah, they seem about the same thickness. Uh, I don't see a big difference here. Now, there is a difference to the teeth between these. I don't know how much that matters, but there's a difference. Now let's flip them over. Okay. You know, the rod seems about the same. The, uh, the thickness of the buckle they seem about the same. If anything, this one might seem a little thicker, maybe a little wider. I don't know. Um, aggressiveness of the Velcro seems about the same. I don't see a lot of difference here. Now, understand that tourniquets are meant to be single use. And therefore, we're not talking about can they withstand, or you know, are they built to stand up for over and over and over? No, they're, they're made for single use. And the important thing is that they don't fail while you're using them. But I really don't see any reason to think that this one would fail any more than I would think that the um, cat would, the, the North American Rescue one would. So... I, I just can't see any obvious discrepancy, any, any obvious lack of quality on the Tacticon versus the North American Rescue. Now, the, the cat tourniquets are made in the U.S. Um, I do not know where Tacticons are made. My guess would be overseas. Uh, if they were made in the U.S., I, I would think he'd be crowing about it. I know I would. But... Um, but a lot of stuff is made overseas. So, I am I am not at all unhappy with these. Uh, the price was really good. I understand it was an induct introductory price, but it was a good introductory price. And I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, they look like really good tourniquets to me. And they are going to go into my um, med kits right alongside the few ta uh, cats that I have and alongside the uh, Recon Medical that you may recall I bought a few of and Recon Medical has since had to quit making theirs um, because they were threatened with a lawsuit from either North American Rescue or someone else uh, for it being too close to uh, to the to some other brand I can't remember if it was North American Rescue I won't put that I won't put that on them but uh, it was somebody so, this is a, a new place that you can get combat tourniquets, and I'm pretty happy with them. The price was really good. I can't recall exactly right now what I paid, but they were very inexpensive. That was an introductory price. Um, it's just as well that I can't remember it because it may not still be that, but, um, but it was a pretty good price. And, you know, I'm just showing you what it looks like right upside the regular uh, cat and I man I just don't see much of a difference I really don't if anyone else you know knows more about this they can say oh well check this or check that please let me know because I'm, I'm feeling of it I'm, I'm twisting it and I'm just not seeing a difference in these tourniquets uh, not anything that, that would make me say, no, don't put this in your med kit. All right, so that's my review of this Tacticon tourniquet. Thanks for watching.